Good morning students, I welcome the 6th semester triple E students for the course Embedded System Unit 1. The topic will be presented by myself, Dr. K. Kanimuli, Professor Triple E. In Unit 1, the contents are Embedded System, the components of Embedded System, comparison of various software architecture, applications, challenges, future trends and conclusion. Now let us start with what is Embedded System. An Embedded System is a special purpose computer that is used inside of a device. A combination of hardware and software that forms the components of larger system will be called as an embedded system. Next, the components of embedded system are embedded hardware. It mainly consists of a microcontroller with various peripherals such as ICs. An embedded RTOS that is embedded real-time operating system. All intelligent devices that perform complex functions have an embedded operating system inside it. The third one are the device drives. The software that acts as a glue between the operating system and the peripheral device is called as the device driver. Next let us see the components of embedded system. The other components are communication stocks and embedded application. If the embedded device is capable of communicating to the external world, it has zero communication software stock running on the top of the operating system. The embedded applications, it performs the predefined function for an embedded device. Let us see the comparison between the various software architectures you can see the various software architectures like round robin system round robin with interrupt system function queue scheduling and real-time operating system all these they are compared based upon different characteristics the first characteristics considered is the priority is available in case of round robin system there is no priority in round robin with interrupts the interrupt routines gives the priority order that the task code in priority order. In case of function queue scheduling, the interrupt routine in priority order then all the tasks are the same priority and in real time operating system, the interrupt routines in priority order. The second characteristic is first response time for task code. In case of round robin system, the execution time for all the task code remains the same and in round robin with interrupts the total of the execution time for all the task code plus the execution time for the interrupt routines the next one is function queue scheduling here the execution time for the longest function plus execution time for the interrupt routines are considered the last one is the real time operating system here the zero plus execution time of the routine is considered Next characteristic is stability of response when the code changes. In case of round robin system, stability is poor. And in round robin system with interrupts, it has good for interrupt routine and poor for the task code. In the third case, it is relatively good. And in the last one, it is very good. So an improvement will be seen. Last characteristic is simplicity. Round robin system is very simple. Likewise, round robin system with interrupts is also very simple. And the third case, it must deal with data shared between the interrupt routine and task code. And the fourth system, real-time operating system is very much complex. So these are the comparison of various system. Next, let us see the tool chain which is to be followed in designing an embedded software. To start with, there will be C and C++ files embedded into the system. It will be fed into the cross compiler. In the cross compiler, it will be converted into an object file. It may be in any format. So this object file will be fed to the linker or locator. Similarly, we can also write assembly language programs. Those assembly language programs will be fed to the cross assembler. And this cross assembler, it will be converted into object file. So we can write either C, C++ program or we can write any microprocessor or microcontroller program both of them will be converted into object files these object files they will be sent to the linker or locators here it will be converted into an executable file 
of any standard format which will be fed into the target system so likewise this is the tool chain for designing and embedding any embedded system in any particular application so though many, so many applications are there a washing machine is the best example an automatic chocolate vending machine is the best example so many cars nowadays they are being automized a seat belt warning system it is also an embedded software so so many examples they have been designed in such a way and it will be embedded into the target system next the challenges faced while designing an embedded system are it is a need of a precise engineering and design it is low in cost high performance careful selection of chips and it provides more efficiency so in short we can say that the challenge is to provide affordable highly integrated devices meeting stringent requirements for the society producing security reliability availability and at the same time keeping it low as i said earlier the various applications are automatic telemachine atm cellular telephone and telephone switches all mobile phones they have got an embedded system handheld calculators household appliances including washing machines televisions microwave and everything has got a motherboard whenever there is a motherboard something will be embedded inside it so another uh, applications are shown in this slide so a digital camera dvd recorder suit a set of box suit and printer suit these are the other applications which are found in real time nowadays even we have got smart watches so this multifunction wrist watches telemetry based medical equipments and programmable digital assistants measurement equipments like oscilloscopes digital storage oscilloscope which you people use in your lab it is also an example for embedded system logic analyzers and spectrum analyzers programmable logic controllers which we have got in our college in the industrial automation lab that is also an example for embedded system i have shown the various applications in a visual manner you can um, just observe the slide so that you can understand it so in this e millennium it is a public communication for the 21st century it offers superior multi pay voice access in combination with powerful user friendly web applications users can check email get stock codes make on purchases even cruise speed web access through a laptop computer another application is a satellite ground station so there is so much to speak about the future development adaptive cruise control that is automation of the normal vehicles most of the cars they have been autonomized in foreign countries they use autonomous vehicles even without a driver anybody who doesn't know to drive they can use that vehicle so that will be called as adaptive cruise control telemetry which is a biomedical application in all security systems telematics and in bluetooth applications embedded system is being used so to conclude this session the world of embedded system it is a dreamer's paradise with unlimited possibilities so you have to make use of this opportunity so you have got so many applications in embedded system you can choose something for your project so that will be useful for you in your final year and also so employable opportunities will also be available for this embedded system and this embedded system it makes controlling all the systems around just by simple gesture and the things respond to you as if it was some magic as microprocessors are becoming smaller and cheaper more and more products are becoming smart with microprocessor embedded in them so with this i am concluding this session and in the next class we will be seeing about the direct memory access thank you students